Welcome back to Hua Hing, guys. We're at the airport to start our journey today. We're gonna have a look through Hua Hing, guys. If you're thinking about coming to retire in Hua Hing. Welcome back to Thailand, guys. If it's the first time watching my videos, I do all about retirement in Thailand in 2024. And special reference to Hua Hing area, but other parts of Thailand as well. If you like this kind of content, just press that red button, bang, 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 subscribe, and lots more content will come to you. Tail back, put that cow on, and let's get into today's video. This is the road coming in that most of you will come in on. You know, you'll be coming from Bangkok probably. So you're gonna come through Chiam and then into Hua Hin. And the first place you're gonna come to, the first place you'll see is Hua Hin Airport. Did you know there's an airport in Hua Hin? So it goes to different areas around Thailand. Not that many flights. It is quite small, to be honest, uh, but there's a few flights. I think a lot of people get on the bus or train and come from Bangkok, uh, but some people do use this airport. So this is kind of your first port of call. I think the airport kind of starts, is the start to Hua Hin, in my eyes anyway. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but in my eyes, this is where I think, okay, this is where Hua Hin starts. So basically just a, you know, 100 meters or 50 meters after the airport, you get to Hoi Hin Soi Wan. This is where it officially starts, I think. Let's take a drive in the truck and have a look along this road and see all the important areas around Hoi Hin on this main road. First place I've come to is, there's a huge macro here. I'll put it on the screen now for you. Uh, at Soi 5, opposite Soi 5. That's the first kind of thing you come to that's kind of important for people living here in the city. Macro is a fantastic place. It has lots of great goods in there. You don't need a macro card because I've been going in there for years and I've never used a card and no one's ever said anything. So don't worry about that guys. But it's a good place to get a lot of your goods, uh, like supermarket goods in Thailand at great prices to be honest. Not far down from here, there's Hua Hin Hospital, another about 400 meters down. Uh, so that's one of the big hospitals in Hoi Hin, guys. Just for, driven on a bit further, opposite Soi 28, there's a villa market I put on the screen now. So this is another one of them villa markets. There's two or three maybe in the city. Uh, this is one if you live this end of the city. So this is like a Western, very Western supermarket in Hoi Hin, guys. As we drive in now, we're at Soi 43. It's getting basically just more and more busy, to be honest. There's certainly lots of different petrol stations like here, one on the left, shower garage on the right. So there's loads of petrol stations along this road. If you live along this road at 47. Now, I always think that in Hoi Hin, when you get to Soi 51, I think that's when it starts getting really busy. And from 51 up until, you know, right up until Blueport really, that's kind of the really busy area to live on. So if you're gonna live there as a retiree, then you know, you're gonna be mixing in with tourists all the time, basically. Here's Soy 51 here, guys, on the left. So that's like quite a busy little street. And then I think now, I mean, it's quite early morning now, so there's not much traffic around, but later it will be packed around this area, especially this traffic lights coming up, uh, I think, Soy 61, which we'll have a look at now. So we're right now at Soy 61. If you go straight down there, that takes you down to the main Hoi Hin Beach, kind of the tourist way that all the tourists come in. And then this junction's proper busy around here. So if you live around this area, Soy 61, it's proper, proper busy because this is where all the tourists kind of come. A lot of hotels around this area. And you go down here as well, there's like Soy Bindabar, you know, Hilton Hotel, that's all down this main entrance to a Hoi Hin, guys. I think it might be annoying if you lived along this area, Soy 61, right up to like Blueport. You know, there's lots of massages. If you're walking past as a retiree daily, it might get a bit annoying. Depends on yourself what you want. I mean, if you want to be in this like real central location. As you come up to Soy 80, guys, you can shoot straight down Soy 80 and the train station's right down at the bottom there. So we'll have a walk down there now, guys. If you don't know, guys, Soy 8 is a bit of a party bar street in Hoa Hin, if that's your thing, you know, there's quite a lot of bars up here at night. It's obviously the daytime, so they got all the things up ready for the Chinese New Year here now. So as you come out of Soy 80, the other side, which is literally 
you know, six, seven minute walk. And then this huge new Boy Hin train station is here for you guys. So if you want to go back to Bangkok or you want to go south in Thailand, the new station's here for you. It's absolutely fantastic. This is Soy 80, so we'll move on a little bit further past Soy 80 and see what's there, guys. Should have a beer on Soy 80, guys. Probably not a good idea considering it's 9.30 in the morning. Okay, we'll come away from Soy 80 because that was a little bit dangerous, guys. To, just next to Soy 84, there is a filler market. Here. So here next to Soy 84, there's like a villa market, like a steakhouse a wine place as the ambulance comes past because there is the next hospital right next door which is San Paolo Hospital so another one of like another one of the really good hospitals in Hua Hin remember before we saw Hua Hin Hospital this is the next one so this one is around Soy 84 near Soy 84 guys so there it is, San Paolo Hospital, really good one, right in the center of Hua Hin, guys. So opposite Soy 69, you monkeys, there is, have a look, oh, where is it? It's over there. So Market Village, so opposite Soy 69, Market Village, you've got Home Pro Lotus, so you can get lots of different things in there. The supermarket, there's food being cooked there, there's clothes for sale. So this is opposite Soy 69. Actually, it's opposite Soy 71, you Pillock Newman. So yeah, opposite Soy 71. Soy 71, you can nip straight down there to the beach. To be honest, all the way from the main entrance at Soy 61, even before that, you can get on to the beach from the, there's all these little soys that go off down to the beach, all the way along, right up to Cow Tibiac. So if you live anywhere along this road or just back off this road, you're not gonna be very far from a beach. I mean, literally from Market Village, it's, it's 10 minutes, you can see it. I mean, less than 10 minute walk. I mean, it's really, really quick, you know. Very, very quick. Market Village has everything. McDonald's, you know, Sizzler, pizzas, Fuji, all Japanese food. All these different types of food, you know, Western food, Thai food. It's got a bit of everything, guys, you know. Let's come on down a bit further from Market Village. Probably 10 minute walk or less if you get a stump on. You've got a nice pizza here. I've been here a few times. And this is like the corner of Soy 94. So you can go right up there. The start of Soy 94, which have all some uh, nice bars up there, if that's, what, if that's your thing, and massage places as well, right up there. But I'm not going up there today, else I'll end up with no money left. If you have a heart attack from all the excitement in Soy 94, guys, don't worry, next to Soy 94, not far away, about two or three minute walk, near 94.1 slash one, there's Bangkok International Hospital in Hua Hin. Probably the best hospital in Hua Hin, I would say. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but that's my opinion. I've heard some good things about it. It's internationally accredited. And the last place we've come up to is just another like 10 minute, 15 minute walk up, and that is Blueport, the other big shopping mall in Hua Hin along this main kind of road. Blueport is at Soy 79, guys. It's a real main road here in uh, Hua Hin. It gets very, very busy, especially certain times of year and at weekends, guys. You probably see the Bangkok International Hospital just down there on the left-hand side. And then Blueport's here, guys, so the big mall's here. And then it goes right up to one of the other places, Cal Tibiac, which goes right up. Uh, there's another beach right up there, guys, you can go and visit as well. Just in the coffee club, guys, gonna order myself a nice fat boy breakfast to finish off the day. Really nice in here, actually. Pretty nice. Uh, just as you're going to Blueport, just as you come in, guys, check it out. Starbucks on the other side as well, guys. Oh, you can see it in the camera there. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of Hua Hin. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, from the lovely Blue Pod. I'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy.